The Jim Gura is on YouTube. What's good, people? It's T Double G, the Jim Gunner, and finally I'm on YouTube. Been a long time in coming. I've had calls, texts, DMs, all saying, "Bro, you need to get on this YouTube thing." And finally, I'm here. Hey, mama made it. A quick two facts about me: I love the gym and I love the Arsenal, and that's what makes me the Jim Gunner. What I want to talk to you about is my team, the Arsenal. So Arteta, for me, he's still the man. I still trust the process, and the reason for that is because I can see improvements and I can see progression. As for some of the players at Arsenal Football Club, they're simply not good enough. January just gone, he has removed, I'd probably say 80% of the deadwood at Arsenal Football Club. He's put an end to the Mesut Ozil saga and he's got rid of the likes of Socrates and Mustafi who were just eating up wage. They're not around no more. They're not around no more. And who do you think that's because of? Let me just say my piece on the Mesut Ozil saga. It was a massive shame that he left the club in the way that he did. However, moving forward, it's a big, big wage that can be used in so many different ways. We can have the likes of getting two world-class players and offer them 200, 150k a week. What people need to remember and understand is Arsenal Football Club at this moment in time are in a transitional period. We are rebuilding. I'm confident and I'm sure that if he's backed correctly in the summer, we will have success back at Arsenal Football Club. The United game has probably been the performance of the season thus far. We went there and completely nullified their attack and we set up perfectly. Partey was popping the ball left, right and centre, controlling the whole midfield. Yeah, it was decided by a penalty, which is kind of ironic against United, but we take it. After the masterclass at Old Trafford, we then just took two points seven games the worst one for me has to be the Aston Villa game where we had Grealish Barkley and Ollie Watkins absolutely bullying and clowning the whole team we lost the North London derby we lost against Burnley now following these defeats we needed something new we needed something fresh and that came in the way of Emil Smith Rowe him and Saka's link up has been different it's been a revelation for us the turning point of the season came on Boxing Day, a 3-1 victory over Chelsea. We played a team who's had millions pumped into them, but two teenagers stole the show, Saka and a Millsmith row. We then used this confidence to win against Brighton and West Brom, a West Brom game which was absolutely winter wonderland. Arsenal are walking in a winter wonderland! What a turnaround! We had Kieran Tierney score possibly the goal of the season for Arsenal. The following three games that I'm going to comment on are all very, very poorly officiated games. We had a 0-0 against United at home. This game could easily have changed in two ways. One, if we had either or all of Saka, Tierney or Aubameyang on the pitch, or if the referee could just do their job. For Bruno Fernandes, to stamp on the back of Granite Xhaka's heel and it not to be even looked at by VAR says it all. Do you do your job? The Wolves game, what a shit show by the referees. The red card for Louise, the penalty, and then the bias by not giving Saka his penalty against Willy Bolly. Don't forget himself into it's further it's trouble. It's that game was the most frustrating game this season. The reason for that is because from minute one to minute 90, we still looked the better team. With nine men, we looked like the better team. It just took that one world-class effort from Martinho to get them the three points. Otherwise, they wouldn't have got anything from that game. After that, the loss against Aston Villa, again, frustrating. We were the better team. They just took their chance right from the off. But again, it could have been a different game if the referee did his job. Concert. That was a red card. I'm not about to hear anything else. Shut up. Saka was not going to get caught by Konza. He was through on goal. Within that same game, <laughs> Lacazette gets pulled down by Martinez blatantly. But he doesn't get a penalty. Our most recent game, a 4-2 victory against Leeds. Our captain came back. Our striker came back. 
a Bamian came back like Eric Bischoff. I'm back, and I'm better than ever. Leeds are a team to be reckoned with this season. They either batter you or get battered by you, and that's what happened. The victory itself was a massive confidence booster for the whole team, but more importantly for our captain, Aubameyang. To see him smile, to see him scoring goals is exactly what our club needs at this moment in time. If he can find form, that could define our season. With what he's been going through, it was a massive, massive confidence booster for him and the team itself leading into this week's game against Man City. It's going to be hard. We've got to keep an eye on Foden. We've got to keep an eye on Sterling. We've got to keep an eye on Gundogan. It's going to be a very, very hard task. So I hope you enjoyed my first video on YouTube. Please like, comment and share, subscribe and stay strong.